So uh, let's go to our first module. So we are talking about the rectilinear kinematics on continuous motion. Okay. So our objectives at the end of this module should be able to understand the concepts of position, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Analyze particle motion along a straight line and represent this motion graphically. So rectilinear kinematics. So kinematics again, we are talking about the mo the position, possible motion or position of a certain particle, uh, neglecting the effects of the forces. So rectilinear, no, from the word uh, rectus and linear. Rectus means straight, linear line. So when you say rectilinear, it means straight line. So these are motions in straight line. So, welcome to dynamics class. So, rectilinear kinematics or continuous and continuous motion. These are motion moving along a straight line path. We call this rectilinear motion. Okay. So, your first activity here, we have the difference of distance and displacement, which will we be answering in your, uh, in your free times. Okay. So before, let's talk first about this subject. Mechanics is a branch of physical sciences concerned with the state of rest or motion of body subjected to the action of forces. So, what is this? It talks about the bodies and motions. So, engineering mechanics is, the, is divided into two areas of study, namely statics and dynamic statics uh, concerned with the equilibrium of a body katong at rest or moves with constant velocity. And then he will consider the dynamics which deals with the accelerated motion of a body. So actually, there is also a third part of engineering mechanics. We call that the mechanics of deformable bodies. So here we are talking about the rigid bodies. So rigid bodies, we consider these bodies or a particle or an object that does not undergo any deformation. So this is these are rigid bodies. But, and then in your mechanics of deformable bodies, also called as the strength of materials, we consider particles or objects and that undergoes into deformation. So in real life, everything undergoes deformation, no matter how small, no, um, no matter how nanomillimeter deformation it is, everything undergoes deformation. So here in dynamics, we neglect uh, deformation. That's why we call it rigid bodies. The subject of dynamics will be presented into two parts. Kinematics treats only the geometric aspects. So, katonggingo na kung geometric uh, of uh, objects. Kinetics, which is the analysis of the forces causing the motion. Okay, the first part will be about the kinematics. So, rectilinear kinematics of a particle is characterized by specifying at any given instant the particle's position, velocity, and acceleration. So, in rectilinear kinematics, we talk about the particle's position, its velocity, and acceleration. So, yes, this one. So, the particle's position in this uh, subject, we usually denote it with X or S. Sometimes also without the X. So, it depends. So, later we'll be going uh, to discuss about these things. Velocity, common uh, symbol is V. And then acceleration is A. But if we talk about the acceleration as the gravity, then it will become G. Okay, in the first part, let's talk about the position. So, the straight line path of a particle will be defined using a single coordinate axis, S. So, mone kung gingo no, ang position, we use S here. So, in so we when we talk about position we use axis. So instead of we using the x and y axis here we are only using one axis. We call that the s axis. Okay, the single coordinate axis. So this one here, o, we call this the origin of the path. So this is a fixed point. And from this point the particle will move to a certain location. So monisha Ang iyang distance, we denote that as S. Okay, this one. So, this is the position. So, the magnitude of S is the distance from O to the particle. So, usually in the SI system, we measure distance into meters. In the imperial, so in the SI, we measure 
in meters and then in SI, we measure in feet. And the sense of direction is defined by the algebraic sign on S. So, kanisha, kaning meters and feet, these are scalar quantities. No? So, a particle is moving at S meters or feet. Now, if we add the vector quantity, so we add the sign. Since here we have here written, realize that position is a ve vector quantity. So, position is a vector quantity. Since it has both magnitude and direction. So, ang S is the scalar. Kung lang tag 10 meters yung uh, na move, uh, let's say 5 foot. So, ana. But when we talk about vector, so nana tay symbol. Nana plus or minus, it moves to the right. So, we know that in the in this quadrant, no? And anything that moves to the right or up are positive. And anything that moves to the left or downward, we consider the sign as negative. Okay. So that is the position. It is the particle's movement. Okay. Now we have the displacement. So what is the displacement? So class, displacement is just the change in position. So take note of the word change. In mathematics, kung naga ni word nga change, we use this symbol, delta. So that's why as you can see here, we have delta S or change in its position. So S denotes position. So change in position, so delta S ang atong gigamit, is equal to S prime minus S. So kani S prime class? This is, so if you look again at the particle, this is the first position. And then this is the second position or let's say we can call it the final position. Okay. At S pos position of the particle, we have a measure S. Now it moved to the right. So, it's the, so S prime is the new distance of the particle from its origin. Now, what is displacement? Displacement is this change. How much change was made by the particle? We call that displacement. So, for instance, if this is 10 meters, and then, so the first location or position of the particle is 10 meters to the right, and then its second or final position as prime, its location or position is, let's say, a 15 meters. So, in this example, the change of position, we call that the displacement, is equal to 15 meters minus 10 meters equals to 5 meters. So, this is the displacement of this particle from its initial position to its final position. So, in this case, the change, uh, the displacement or the change in position is positive because the position of the particle is from its initial position moves to the right. And since it moves to the right, we have a positive displacement. If it moves to the left, it is the negative displacement. So this is vector quantity. Man. So this, this the displacement of particle is also a vector quantity. So if a position is a vector quantity, Displacement is also a vector quantity. So, clarify lang, no? Position, location of the material. Displacement is the change of position. So, this is displacement. Okay? First is position, and then second is displacement. <laughs>